Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is a sort of, again, a different video from, um, obviously, like a usual video on the channel. Um, obviously, I'm going to be talking about, as you've seen the scene um, this morning, guys, if you've seen it on Sky Sports, you've probably seen it already in the news or on social media, um, about Peter Lowell's house being vandalized. Yeah, obviously, you know, not just vandalised, it's been literally blown up. You know, the car, he's, the three cars were blown up. Um, if I can get pictures up, guys, it'll be on the screen. Um, or, you know, you, you would see him, you would see him on the social media sites or Sky Sports. Um, his house basically half burnt down. Um, you know, it's despicable scenes you never want to see. I don't, I, I don't know who in the right mind wants to do it. Um, I think to, you know, a chief executive obviously stepping down in July, obviously, and then it'll leave Don McKay on his own, you know, as the new chief, chief executive. Um, I was, you know, it was very horrible reading um, for this morning, especially knowing a lot worse could have happened to Peter and his family um, in the house at the time. Shock behaviour, hope the culprits are fine, definitely. Uh, you know, they, sh they should be found. And um, I've got a statement, um, a spokesman, a spokesperson, who can't speak, can't speak today. A spokesperson for Celtic said, we confirm that sig significant, I can't speak today, um, significant damage has been caused to Peter Lowell's house and the vehicles there following an explosion and fire early this morning forcing the family to leave the property. Um, clearly Peter's family are extremely shaken and shocked by these terrible events but thankfully, mm, thankfully are all safe. Safe. Um, we understand that Police Scotland are currently undertaking a criminal investigation. Peter and his family will of course receive the full support and care of everyone in the club. I fully respect to Peter and his family. Hope they're all doing well at this time. You know, sad time for his family, you know, basically his house burnt down, his cars as well. Um, you know, I'll read a bit, a wee bit about what Sky Sports have to say about it. Um, police and fire services were called to reports of a car on fire at around 1am on Wednesday. No one was injured in the fire, which also affected Peter Lowell's Glasgow property. Lowell is leaving his role as Celtic CEO in summer, as I said. The family of Celtic's outgoing chief executive, Peter Lowell, has been left shaken and shot by an explosion. And the fire under Glasgow home in the islands of Wednesday morning. Peter and the fire, uh, Peter and the fire. police and fire rescue services were called to Lowell's home at around 1 a.m. on Wednesday to reports of a car on fire. Lowell's family escaped um, unhurt from the property, and police Scotland are investigating the cause of a fire. A spokesperson for Celtic said they can confirm that significant damage has been caused to the Lowell's house, and that's what I said earlier. Um, yeah, uh, a police Scot a police Scotland spokesperson said around one a.m. on Wednesday, nineteenth of May, uh, officers were call called to a report of vehicles out on fire outside the house uh, on Peel Road, Thorn Thornton Hill, a hall. Sorry, uh, no one is injured. And officers are currently working with the Scottish Fire and Rescue Services to establish the cause of the fire. A Scottish Fire and Rescue Service person said Operations Control mobilised eight uh, appliances to the scene uh, to extinguish, extinguish the fire. Which was affecting a num a number of cars as well. It's attached to story property. There's no reported casualties. Crews remain in attendance. Lowell is also leaving, um, obviously leaving his role as Celtic, uh, you know, CEO in the summer to be replaced by Don McKay, formerly Chief Operating Officer at Scottish Rugby. Um, and that's really it, to be honest. But it's shocking scenes. I mean, who wants to do like? What is the what's the point? What are you trying to get out of um doing this, you know? What is your I can't you can't get I can't get the word out. Like what was your thinking throughout it? Like were you actually thinking or are you just doing it, you know? Like I hope they get caught. They, um, they really should get punished for that. That there's no need for that. Absolutely no need for that. Um you know, you can't just go to someone's house and just you know, it doesn't matter if he's a CEO or a, anybody's house, you can't do that to anybody's house, you know. You know that's the house. Even if they're a celebrity, you know they still they still have um you know memory. Uh, you know they still need a house. You know even though they have money and stuff, but you know um you know it's their house. You know it's the family live there. You know um it's 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 just the despicable scenes uh, we saw in the pictures. Um yeah, very despicable scenes we saw there. Um but thanks guys for watching. It's just a wee discussion just to tell you guys. If, obviously you've never heard if you've not heard today, guys, that Peter Lowell's house. Um, had been, you know, f on fire for, um, and his house was, you know, half burnt down, significant, significant damage, 
um, obviously his cars as well. Um, luckily, Peter and his family um, were unhurt. Um, hopefully, their family's doing well. Um, special wishes to them. Um, hopefully, they don't. Um, obviously, for this time, it's very sad, you know, your house getting half burnt. You know, people targeting your house, basically. Um, we've seen that, you, you know, bef you've seen that before. Um, f not especially footballers and all that stuff and chairmans um, of football clubs. But thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, until then, guys, peace.